Google Analytics now has two free versions. Universal Analytics, which is widely used, and the new version called Google Analytics 4 or GA4. Most of the organizations use Universal Analytics and will continue to use Universal Analytics for a few years to come. However, when you create a new property in Google Analytics, it gets created in Google Analytics 4. In this video, I will show you how you can create the Universal Analytics version. So if you're ready, let's dive in. If you already have a Google Analytics account and you need to create a new property, then you'll go to the admin panel, which is available via the wheel on your Google Analytics account. Clicking on this wheel will bring you to the admin panel, which is where you can create a new property. Click on create property. That'll allow you to create a new Google Analytics property. As you'll notice, the default version of Google Analytics property is four. So when you use this option, whether you have an account or not, you will be creating a new Google Analytics 4 property, not Universal Analytics. However, as I mentioned before, in this course, we will be using Universal Analytics. That's the version that's widely used throughout the organizations. In order to create that version, click on Show Advanced Options. This is where you'll see an option to create a Universal Analytics property. Flip this switch on, and now you will be able to create Google Analytics 4 property as well as Universal Analytics property, as it's listed here. Create both Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics property. So if you want to do that, then go ahead and give your property a name. Let's call it Analytics Hire or whatever your business name is. Set these, your time zone, currency, and then go down and enter your website's URL. And you can leave this option on if you are creating a Google Analytics 4 property. If you are interested in learning more about Google Analytics 4 and how it works, then check out my course on Google Analytics 4. However, if you just want to create Universal Analytics property, then you can check right here and this will only create Universal Analytics property. No Google Analytics 4 property will be created. I highly recommend that you create both the properties so that at some point you can start to learn Google Analytics 4 as well. So pick your option and click on Next. Pick the other options, your industry, business size, etc. I'm just going to pick something here and then click on Create. Once you're done, it provides you the tag that you need to put on your website to start tracking the data. Let's go back to the admin panel. In order to do that, you can click on this arrow or click on the wheel again. So click on arrow and that brings you back into the admin panel. And here you can see that your universal analytics property has been created. There are two ways to tell if you're looking at the admin panel of universal analytics or Google Analytics 4 property. One, you'll notice that in Universal Analytics, you have three panels in the admin section, account, property, and view. However, in Google Analytics 4, you only have account and property. And the second is by looking at the property ID. In case of Universal Analytics, you will see UA appended to your property ID. So it starts with UA and the number. And now I'm going to show you how a Google Analytics 4 property looks. So click on this arrow and I'm going to pick this property right here, which does not have UA. And now the third panel is gone. So that's how you can tell whether you're looking at the admin panel of Google Analytics 4 or Universal Analytics. And the reports are a lot different the whole structure is very different in Google Analytics 4. But we are focusing on Universal Analytics in this course. So that's all you need to do to create a Universal Analytics property. I will see you in the next video.